Hi, and welcome back to another video with Mrs. Duke and the Trouble with Music. Today I have some very special Spanish stuff for you from España. In the background you hear Carmen, um, an opera written by Bizet. So we're going to be hearing some music from um, Bizet today. And I wanted to first show you some authentic castanets. Now, some of you know that I have castanets that I bring to class sometimes. Um, these are the real deal. These were given to me a few years ago by some friends that visited Barcelona. And um, when I got them, I was so excited because when I was a little girl, we had some friends come over from Spain, um, Juan and Deborah, and Deborah brought her castanets and played them for me. And I was just amazed. I mean, her fingers flew. Um, and let me show you a little bit about castanets. They look like clams. They're made out of wood. And then there is a piece of, of um, kind of like a shoelace that ties them together. And you loop your thumbs through them. And you hold them so that they hang down. And your right hand plays a higher pitched castanet. And the left hand plays one that's lower. So, if you're really good at it, I can't, I can't do it. If, um, flamenco dancers that practice these, they practice a long time to get their fingers to play exactly the same. I have not done that. So, but they can do it really fast. That gives you an idea. So, I'm not really good at it, but castanets are really cool. I wish that I could play them better. So today I thought I would read you a story about Ferdinand the Bull and then we're going to do a fun um, activity that has something to do with this. Now in the story it will mention who uses this. Um, it is called the Matador and the Matador is the person who teases the bull with a red scarf. So, at some point during um, this video, you may want to go grab a red scarf or something red that you can use like this because we will be using it in a little while. Alright, so my story is called The Story of Ferdinand. It is by Munro, Munro, I'm sorry, Munro Leaf. Kind of an unusual name. So this is Ferdinand, and let's see what happens to him. Once upon a time in Spain, there was a little bull and his name was Ferdinand. Isn't he cute? He's a little calf. All of the other little bulls he lived with would run and jump and butt their heads together. But not Ferdinand. He liked to sit just quietly and smell the flowers. He had a favorite spot out in the pasture under a cork tree. It was his favorite tree and he would sit in its shade all day and smell the flowers. Sometimes his mother, who was a cow, would worry about him. She was afraid he would be lonesome all by himself. Look at the bell around her neck. Why don't you run and play with the other little bulls and skip and butt your head, she would say. But Ferdinand would shake his head. I like it better here where I can sit just quietly and smell the flowers. His mother saw that he was not lonesome, and because she was an understanding mother, even though she was a cow, she let him just sit there and be happy. As the years went by, Ferdinand grew and grew until he was very big and strong. So here's all the marks. Do you have any marks like that where it shows how much you've grown? So this says two years. So he was about two years old. Really big in two years. All the other bulls who had grown up with him in the same pasture would fight each other all day. 
They would butt each other and stick each other with their horns. They, bulls are tough. What they wanted most of all was to be picked to fight at the bullfights in Madrid. So here they are. They're looking at the poster. There's a bullfight coming up, and they want to be picked. But not Ferdinand. He still liked to sit just quietly under the cork tree and smell the flowers. One day, five men came in very funny hats to pick the biggest, fastest, roughest bull to fight in the bullfights in Madrid. Check out those hats. All the other bulls ran around snorting and budding, leaping and jumping so the men would think that they were very, very strong and fierce and pick them. See, they were showing off. Ferdinand knew that they wouldn't pick him, and he didn't care. So he went out to his favorite cork tree to sit down. He didn't look where he was sitting, and instead of sitting on the nice cool grass in the shade, he sat on a bumblebee. <sighs> Well, if you were a bumblebee and a bull sat on you, what would you do? You would sting him, and that is just what this bee did to Ferdinand. Ooh, look at his eyes. Have you ever been stung by a bee? I have. It hurts. Wow, did it hurt. Ferdinand jumped up with a snort. He ran around puffing and snorting, budding and pawing the ground as if he were crazy. The five men saw him and they all shouted for joy. Here was the largest and fiercest bull of all. Just the one for the bullfights in Madrid. So they took him away for the bullfight day in a cart. He looks kind of sad. What a day it was. Flags were flying, bands were playing. And all the lovely ladies had flowers in their hair. They had a parade into the bull ring. First came the banderilleros with long sharp pins with ribbons on them to stick in the bull and make him mad. Oh, that sounds terrible. Next came the picadores who rode skinny horses and they had long spears to stick in the bull and make him madder. Then came the matador, the proudest of all. He thought he was very handsome and bowed to the ladies. He had a red cape and a sword and was supposed to stick the bull last of all. Then came the bull, and you know who that was, don't you? Ferdinand. They called him Ferdinand the Fierce, and all of the banderilleros were afraid of him, and the picadores were afraid of him, and the matador was scared stiff. Look at the matador. Isn't he kind of funny? He's not supposed to be scared. Ferdinand ran to the middle of the ring, and everyone shouted and clapped because they thought he was going to fight fiercely and butt and snort and stick his horns around. Look at all the people. Whew. Here he goes, out into the middle of the bull ring. I wonder what he's going to do. Well, he didn't do any of those things, not Ferdinand. When he got to the middle of the ring, he saw the flowers and all the lovely ladies' hair, and he just sat down and smelled.
He wouldn't fight and be fierce no matter what they did. He just sat and smelled. And the Banderilleros were mad, and the Picadores were madder, and the Matador was so mad he cried because he couldn't show off his cape and sword. Bad sport. So they had to take Ferdinand home. There he goes in the cart. And for all I know, he is sitting there still, under his favorite cork tree, smelling the flowers just quietly. He is very happy. The end. I think he smelled this flower so much, it just kind of fell apart. All right, so you go get your red cape and meet me back here and we will do something really fun. So when I was little, I used to love to run through the house. I had like a track. I went through the living room and the foyer and the hallway, the kitchen, the dining room, and then I was back in the living room. So I need you to find a track somewhere in your house. It might be around a table. It might be around an ottoman or maybe, maybe you have a track. I have a track in my house too. So I'm gonna run through the hallway, the kitchen, around by the kitchen table and back. And I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. So I hope you found your scarf. So when we start, we're gonna be going one direction and I'm gonna go this way. So I'm gonna take off and run and you need to run around your track, but there's a spot in the music where it tells us to turn around and we're gonna turn and go the other way on our track. So I'm gonna give you a hint. When you see me doing this, that means stop, stop going that way and you're gonna turn around and go this way. So after we do that, then, you know, we're the matador. We're the one that taunts the bull with the red scarf or the red cape. So we are gonna approach the bull. So when we approach the bull, we're gonna be kind of cautious. We get eight steps to come up to the bull. And then we change our mind and we go back eight steps. And then we are not that scaredy cat-ish. So we're gonna try again. So we're gonna approach the bull. And guess what? We get up here and we are scared to death. So we scoot back eight steps and then we get to go around. And then we're gonna go round our circle one last time, and that's it. All right, so here we go. That was fun. We'll do it again.